Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I'm back in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so sad my Dreamlight tree has not grown. I've been watering it every day, every single day, and I've logged on twice a day. I don't know if it needs more water than two times a day. And it's been four days, five days, and that's me watering it consistently. Before, when we first planted it and everything, I had been watering it watering it maybe like once every two days or once a day if that has not grown. I've googled this thing and everybody's like three days, three days, 48 hours, something like that. And I'm just like, it's not, it's not happening. I don't know what's going on with my dream light tree. So I just watered her for the morning. Um, so we're just gonna move on from that. Now today, I know we don't have a ton, well, I don't think we have a ton of quests to work on, but I am working on friendship. So I did mention I was going to work on friendship for the characters that we are not level 10 with. So I did. I was giving them their favorite gifts and everything. And I have a list of everybody's favorite gifts. Well, everybody that I need to work on. So Vanillope and Nala and Simba as well as um, Fairy Godmother. So those are the ones we need to work on. I have a list of their favorite gifts today. So I really want to work on that in this episode first thing. You know, before we jump into any quests. So, first things first, I'm going to go collect up some of the flowers. We need to get a purple, nope, white impatient for Simba. So we got the white impatient. I actually don't know if I have lots of inventory space. Uh, well, we can cut in close, I guess. Uh, so white impatient, done. We need a purple bell flower, so those will be in the forest. And I think I always find a lot of the red ones. Purple, aha, perfect. And then we need to hop up to the Frosted Heights and get a white Passion Lily and a red Passion Lily. And those are very common colors, so that'll be good. We're definitely gonna pick up the black ones too, just because I try to pick up the black ones as much as I can, you know, every day at least. Um, so here's one. I think we just we just picked up a white one, right? So we need to grab this red one. And then there will probably be another black one that spawned. I haven't seen it yet. Come on, show yourself, Fashion Lily. There it is. All right, so those black ones are just for me, not for anybody's gifts. So these are the flowers we need. Um, yeah, I don't think we'll have enough room in our inventory, but I need to sell some of these pumpkins anyway. Is the, 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 the stands right over here. Let's just go over there. Actually, I want to eat something so that I have the ability to fly. All right, so I will... Ooh, there's a blue chest down there. I definitely got to get that. Boy, Let's go ahead and sell some pumpkins. I guess I'll sell all of these. Sure. That's good for me. And then I'm just going to do a small reorganization. Nothing big at all. I just need to put some of this stuff up here and then we'll have these two rows for the uh, gifts that we need to give. Okay, let's go grab that that chest really quickly and then we will head to, I believe we just gotta go to Remy's kitchen next. Cause we got, I think two meals for each person that they want. Um, some of them I might not have recipes for and I'll just need to look up. So I'm gonna actually Precog this. I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, get my Google up. <laughs> just because I need to know my recipes. I've been wanting to do like a recipe episode anyway, where I just like search all the recipes and 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 get every single one. I really need to do that. All right. So, uh, how should I do this? Uh, I guess trying to think of the best way to do this because I don't I don't know what I'll need let me let me get out of here and we'll see what we can make with the ingredients that we have um, so just checking off my list I got the lilies I got the flowers all right so mint candy I know we can make without doing anything special if I can find the mint candy where the there it is Let's get the mint candy going. And th that's for Fairy Godmother. 
Um, we'll also do the marinated herring. I did that yesterday. So I should be, there it is. Should be able to do that, of course. So we'll do that. And that's Fairy Godmother's gifts done. So I know, I don't think I have gooseberry tea recipe. Let's see, I have pottage. I don't remember if that is a appetizer. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I can do it. Done. All right, that's for Nala. And then she wants a sushi. I know there's a few different types of sushi here. I think I can make, let's see. I got a, I think they're the main course. Let's see if I recognize the one that she wants. I think there's two that look that looks like this. Actually, there might that might only be the, that might be the only one. Um, I think. No, this one. I always get this one and that this, this one confused. They just look similar. Do they not? One's a little bit more red. The pictures just look so similar. I think it's this one though. I'm gonna guess it is. Fingers crossed for all of us. All right, so that's Nala's gifts done. So next are some things that we may or may not have recipes for. Um, so this is, I'm just going to Google these ones just so that I have that, like, I don't need to look them on my recipe card. So caramel apple, I'm sure that's just apple, but I don't know what, if it would be milk with it or what. Okay. Nobody's giving me the recipe. Okay. It's actually only sugar and apple surprisingly. So let's get an apple and we'll get a sweetener. So sugar cane. Yes. All right. So that should be the caramel apple that we need. And I think that's, yep, it's a new recipe. Good. All right. I have the recipe for the Wonderland cookie, but I, do, I know it's going to need some um, like butter or something. So let me see what it needs. This one doesn't have a picture. All right. Uh, Wonderland cookie. It'll be at the bottom here. Yeah, we need butter. So that's the only thing we need for that one. We'll get that in a second. I just want to make sure we're not going to need anything else from over there. So let me look up gooseberry tea. I'm sure that's pretty self-explanatory. Yep. It's a milk. So I need a milk and a butter. Okay. And then what's the last one I need is seared rainbow trout. I'm going to say that I'll be able to do that. I don't have the recipe though, so we're gonna need to look that up. Seared rainbow trout. They used to, I thought they only used to request, the, the villagers used to request recipes you already had, but maybe I'm just imagining that. Oops, that's not what I wanna do. All right, let's start with the trout. I uh, don't see him. Here he is, rainbow trout. I need a tomato and an onion. Oops, tomato, onion, tomato. Hopefully that's all of it. And that'll be the seared rainbow trout. Nice, new recipe for us. All right, so now we're just gonna head over here. Oops, let's get that, and that, oop, cool. Over here, we need just a butter and a milk, I'm pretty sure, and milk, okay. And then back here. So let's start off with the Wonderland cookie because I have the recipe for that. Let's get that down here. Auto fill that. Start cooking. So the gooseberry tea is the other one that we will need to make. But I have the recipe here. So we need the milk, the sugar cane, and a gooseberry. Gooseberry, or a whole crate of gooseberries. <laughs> all right, so we've got all of the gifts that we needed for today. For the characters we're looking to give gifts to. I'm looking to make sure nobody's in here in the restaurant that I gotta give my gifts to. So we gotta give to Vanillope, Nala, Simba, and Fairy Godmother. All right, anybody in here? No. Let's see, Fairy Godmother and Vanilla Vanillope, no! It's fine. We'll just have to come back and give her her gifts. It's still, it's like 10, it's 10 a.m., almost 10 a.m., so maybe she'll wake up by then. All right, I'm gonna go say hey to Fairy Godmother. Hopefully, we'll be forget oh, oh, I needed to come in here to clean up anything. her house anyway. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll start on that. Oh, and I found Merlin's book. 
So let's talk Hello, to her. You found it. Oh, Tiffany, you're mm -hmm. wonderful. Now I just have to wait for the proper moment to give it back. I mustn't disturb Merlin's experiments, you know? They've been, been known to explode or turn you into a toad. Mm, yeah, we wouldn't want that. How about I take the book and quietly slip it back on a shelf? Ah. That would be lovely, dear. Thank I'll you. I'll see you soon, dear. Perfect. Well, uh, let's go ahead is. and give you your gifts. So, well, mm, do I want to hang out? We can hang out for mm. now. Um, but let's talk. Oh. I have something for you. So, fairy godmother, you wanted your marinated herring. Lovely. She wanted that yesterday. She wanted almost the exact same things that she wanted yesterday. Uh, let's go. I have something to give you. We have purple bellflower. That one's the new one for today. So we're on the level 9 to 10 path, and that is a long one. Uh, one more item to give Fairy Godmother, and it's the mint candy, which she also wanted yesterday. Alright, so we checked her off of our list. Now, I think I got Dreamlight for that. Now let's go and see... What everybody else is up to. So Vanillope's out. Who else? Oh, Nala and Simba. So they're both down near their house. They're together, so they won't be too hard to get to, especially because I could surf my way there. Air surf my way there. I don't see Nala now. But that's okay. Maybe she went Oh, she's right there. Hi. Alright, Simba. This one might be complicated because I might have to accept his quest, but that's okay. Uh, because I'm filming this video. That's the beauty of it. Like, when I was giving gifts before, I had to, like, be careful of not to accept the next quest if they leveled up. But anyway. Uh, I'm still waiting on Simba with the Dreamlight Tree, so it shouldn't. I just remembered that, so we shouldn't worry about that. So, Seared Rainbow Trout for Simba. Nice. And then he wants the... Oh, hold on. We leveled up. Yay, level 8. I'm excited that I'm finally getting to the f levels with these guys. It's been a long time coming. Hey there. All right. Um, I have something to give you. You want the gooseberry tea. Ta-da. And the last one you <gasps> want is the white impatient. Where is it? There it is. I was like, uh-oh, did I give that to somebody else? No, we're good. Okay. Uh. That's enough for Simba and then Nala. Nala. Where did she go? She ran she ran so fast over there. What the heck, girl? Too fast. Alright, where is she? She's coming my way. Oh, she she is running. She's to be fair, she is running. Alright. Hi. Hi girl. Um, I have something to give you. So Nala wanted the sushi. And then, let's see here. I really want to get to her level 10 quest so badly. Um, then she wanted the pottage. Alright. I almost feel like I should hang out with her. And then she wants the white passion lily. Awesome. I actually think I'm going to hang out with Nala just so that we can do things together and hopefully work on that friendship. Alright. So, Nala's done. The only one left is Vanillope, which I gotta wait for her to wake up. But I think, um, maybe she'll get up at 10. This is almost 10. Um, it should be 10 by the end of the episode, so. Anyway, now we can look at our quest. Well, I kind of want to do a quick once-over of our levels with everybody. So, 6 for Vanillope. We haven't given her any gifts yet, though. Nala's really close. Um, Simba, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. And then... Fairy Godmother's also level 9, but not as far as Nala is. So, girl, what shall we do? Let's go to the quests. Um, we have this one still. We're not going to pay attention to that. We now have something new with Buzz, so we got to go report to him. Still working on the Dreamlight Tree. Um, and then the book thing we're working on. So let's go see Buzz right now. Maybe. Go oh, Buzz. Okay, he's over here by my garden that I, in Wally's garden really, but I need to fix all of it and we're not going to talk about that. I really do need to spend some time on here just for like organization and decoration, but I might do that, especially once we're kind of caught up on quests and stuff. It might be fun to come on and do that with you guys. Oh, would it be possible to make them their own outpost? I guess the aliens somewhere in the valley. An outpost in the valley, like decorate it for them? Precisely. I'd make suggestions, but this is re really more of an area of expertise, Tiffany. A space 
in the village just for the aliens. I guess I can make it uh, cozy and fun. I'm sure whatever you do will be more than adequate. You've got my style, friend. Why don't you take one of these little fellows along yep. with you? Anything else you need, I'm sure you'll be able to order from the local vendor Scrooge McDuck. So I'm going to like make them a little house. Is that what I'm going to do? Maybe? Possibly? That seems cool. Let me track that. Okay, so I need to make an alien habitat. I don't know where I want to do that. Where would, what biome would that be best in? Also, I could t do it temporarily. I feel like the Sunlit Plateau. Sunlit Plateau is just perfect for it. I don't want to do the Forgotten Lands. It's already kind of spooky. The forest, I just don't feel like aliens would be at the forest. And same with the glade. Almost think the beach or the Sunlit Plateau, but the Sunlit Plateau is getting so full. It's kind of ridiculous. Um... It can also be temporary. It's not a huge thing if it's not. Uh, let's see. I think the beach. We'll do a cute little something somewhere. We'll figure it out. Okay. I guess I gotta make it kind of large, right? It's playful furniture, red furniture, purple furniture, alien toys. Almost, ooh, because Stitch is an alien. So they can kind of go over on this like little area over here might be a little weird but i think it'll be fun it could be like a backyard thing for stitch maybe i don't know i kind of like the idea call me crazy just gonna clear out some of this area because i think i can do it here we're like over here oh gosh Ooh. where'd the other ones go oh no nala watch out all right that was actually pretty nice <laughs> usually they spread out further than that so that was good oops Okay, and I guess I'll get my pickaxe. That's not my pickaxe. That's not it either. There we go. Let's get that. Clear it out. Clear this out. Let me get this out of the way. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, over here, I kind of need to get these things out of the way. I don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of need to make some kind of little area. But I kind of want to do it more in this nook, but also I want to be able to still get to this rock spot i don't know i think having them over by the cave would be fun because then they could go in the cave if they want to i don't know all right i need playful furniture purple furniture and red furniture oops so we want to do well let's see here this is playful furniture i wonder if i could get red furniture also i don't know we'll see so, like, a trash can. We gotta think, like, what's the vibe? Honestly, I'm thinking, like, super playful. Like, this Pixar ball kind of playful, you know? Like, uh... They could have a little swimming pool. That would be so cute. But probably not not gonna fit there. And I don't want to waste space. Um... But, yeah. I think I really want to go super playful with them. Just because they are... Quite literally... Little alien toys. I can't place anything over here, which kind of stinks. So now I'm like, maybe I should utilize this space over here. Let me put some here. Like that. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't remember how many I was supposed to go for, so we're just gonna... Oh, this is cute, but... No. This would be actually really cute for them, like a little city. That's actually super good. Is there any way I could fit it? There's no way I could fit it over here. Ah, okay. I mean, I could make them a little alien nook back here. That might be fun. You know, so it's not super out of the way. And they'd have that cave. I don't know, now I'm torn. I really want them to have this little, little city play thing. I think this is so cute. All right, I think we're gonna have to put them over here. Actually, let me get this city play thing out. There we go. Um, and then I just got to move some of this stuff. And I'll just move it out. Um, actually, I didn't really want to. Oh, no, no, no. Undo that. We want the Maui statue back there. But I think we'll bring it forward. And we'll bring this rock thing forward. Hold on. We got to we gotta readjust here. Push this to the back. And then this can go here-ish. No, can't. Okay, try it again. Is that in the way? I think that works. And then we can do Maui statue a little bit back there. Move this tree to here. This tree can go back to being here. 
It's not great. I really need a better, especially a better pathway to this area. Um, but for now, that's what we're going to work with. I think that's all I can do. Um, because I can't scoot this forward unless I scoot this one out, which also can work in some ways like that. I think it may, maybe even just rotating that. And then does this fit back here? <laughs> it's taking up so much space. I can't, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't like it, I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna, no, this isn't gonna work. I want, I don't want their little nook to be there. I changed my mind. All right, let's go back to this. And I can put it here, but I have to scoot stitch up. I think I'm just gonna forget this one. You know, just, just, nah. Uh, let's remove it, and then let's see what other smaller things we can go for. Okay, playful. Sad, but needed. Let's see, we could do the meal in the cup. Uh, just thinking of fun things. We could literally do like a little beach towel. I think this would be fun to have, just even tucked back here for like Stitch's backyard. And... I'm going to kind of scroll to the bottom. Oh, we have the alien toys. So I think... Put some there. So they're going to take up quite a bit of space because there's four of them. Um, put them... Can I not... I can't put them there. I put them here. I'm trying to put them in the skinny spots where I won't be able to fit regular furniture. Alright, we have two more. So maybe we can go... How far over this way can I... It still fits something there. I don't know if I could put any. I can't put any there. Let me uh maybe put them here. By the beach. Can I put them on the beach towel? No, I can't. That's awesome. Uh, and then there should be one more. Eric's miniature boat. Yeah, I think like this would be really cute for them. Uh, we could do. It's kind of a little out of place, but we're thinking toys, so. All right, let's get that last alien toy out. Um, honestly, kind of thinking we do... Could do here, but I'll probably move them because that's a pretty valuable space. So we want to think about more toys. All right, so we could put one here. And I really don't know what count I'm at, so I'm going to need to do a check. I think I'll put one more out. I could do a little snuggy plushy uh, nightlight. Let's see, there's got to be some more toy type things. I mean, I could literally do a little hammock somewhere. Honestly, kind of want to put one out here anyway. Like right there. Alright, let me uh, do a little quick check. So we're 10 out of 10 on the playful. So we need two purple and two and three red. Oops. Two purple, three red. So this is purple. What can we use? I literally almost used this twice. So... Let's go and put these here. I just don't think this fits well. Like, I don't know. I'll just put it here for now. Um, this is purple, so two purple. Two purple. We could do the balloons. Like, we don't really have much in the way of purple. I could do the lounge pillows, but I don't even want to do that. I could do books. I feel like books could work. You could put books over where? Like here? That doesn't seem like books should go there. I feel like the book should be over here with the beach thing, the towel for relaxing. All right, so now red. No, that's purple. I need three red. I'll do the large cooler. And do apples, the city model. Oh, I wish. I wish you would fit. Um balloons literally not much in terms of red we need three red things i got the cooler maybe we do another cooler like these guys can have a cooler by them and da, 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 da. let's see let's see one more thing i <laughs> gotta do the city model come on let me shrink it down uh just one more i mean i could do the lamp i feel like that's not not gonna work though blanket fort I could make this work, I think. Let me see. Let me put the blanket fort down. And then we move these guys. 
We just gotta move them out here. Uh, move the books to this pile over here. This little anemone thing, I don't even like. I'm just gonna get rid of it when I can. And then I'm gonna move these guys over here temporarily. So now I can fit the blanket fort here. Can't fit the lounge though. But this is cute because it it'll go with what we're working with. Got like a little house for them. Can I fit it here though is the question. Oh, it's like so, it can fit, but I would rather it be here. Darn, because I want to be able to access the, um, the cave. Well, I could still, I think, technically access it. No, it would be blocked. All right, so we're going to have to do it there. Let's go ahead and put it. I think this is literally the only spot. I can't scoot it there. All right, so they have a little blanket fort. I think this is cute. I mean, I would have liked to have done the other thing, but this is this is good. And then I put the books there. And we could put the little cooler over here with these guys. Woo, goodness. All right, so I did that. Did that. We're good. Uh, now, oh, I forgot. I got to move that um, the blanket and beach towel, this thing. I think I'll just remove it for now. I'll probably put it on the beach at some point, but not right now. All right, take a picture of my alien habitat. Oh yeah, I also forgot to put the aliens back. I wanted to put some over here. Oh, they don't fit. Actually, I can put them behind there. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, so let's get my camera out. That's not the camera. That's the camera. And cheese. All right, port to buzz. I wonder if I could take out some of the stuff that I want to take out now. There's just a few. I think I do want to leave this. I think it's cute. I don't know. Though. I might might just change everything. I just want to take out the anemone and some of this other random stuff. I actually think I can move this to just over here for now. Come on. There we go. So I think this is a cute little habitat for now. And we'll just leave it there. I think it'll be really fun to put them more close to Buzz or Woody's house. Um, and just have them. Because I think they like enjoy, enjoy hanging out by Woody's house since it's very playful. Uh, so Buzz is over this way. Let's cut through here. Can't cut through there. Just kidding. Ooh, chest. Buzz, where the heck are you? Oh, he's sitting on the bench. Lovely. I don't feel like I ever see anybody sitting on these benches. Glad he's enjoying it. All right, now that is one fine looking outpost, yeah. Tiffany. I'm sure our little green friends will be pleased, and hopefully it will keep them from running off again. You know what I should have did? I should have did it at Woody's Carousel, because Woody's Carousel is already, like, super fun and playful. So I might consider just swapping, like, where they're hanging out and just put them over by Woody's. I think it makes more sense. I'm sure our little green friends are pleased, and hopefully it will keep them from running off again. While you were working on the habitat, I did some recon work. Merlin informed me that you might appreciate some of these samples. Good work, Space Ranger. Another mission accomplished with style. What kind of samples? I guess we'll find out. Oh, two. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let me see what we've got. Oh, I said I got two, but I only got one. Five of those, ten of those, five of those, five. Nice, not bad, not a bad haul. All right, I gotta put this up here with the rest of that stuff. I do need to clean out my inventory, that's for sure. Let's see what we got in here. But I do think, actually, is Vanillope awake? Oops, Vanillope, are you awake? She's still sleeping. So I'm gonna just, you know, wait around for her today and uh, hopefully we'll find her. Uh, at some point awake. That'll be great But not in this episode, but I do have her stuff and I will just patiently await her uh, Awakening, but I want to thank you guys so very much for watching be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time